Working at the engine cover, red arrow, pull off the front two air duct hoses, green arrows. To detach the ducts, pull them straight off the engine cover air filter housing. Then pull the front of the duct out of the radiator support and remove them from the engine. Repeat this step for each duct. Lift up and remove the front engine cover. Then pull the engine cover air filter housing straight up to remove it. The cover is held on by four metal clips that grab onto rubber mounts, with the front two shown here indicated by red arrows. The rear of the cover has two as well. Once detached, remove the engine cover air filter housing from the engine. Working at the right side of the valve cover, pull the breather hose straight off of the breather cover to remove it. Working at the left side of the valve cover, pull the breather hose, indicated by the green arrow, out of the mounts running along the wiring harness holder. Working at the left side valve cover, pull the breather hose, red arrow, straight off of the cover to remove it. Working at the left side valve cover, pull the final breather hose, indicated by the red arrow, straight off of the breather cover to remove it. Once all the breather hoses are detached, remove the ignition coils. Please see the link at the end of this video for detailed instructions on spark plug ignition coil and wire replacement. Back at the right side of the engine, remove the fuel pressure test port cap as indicated by the red arrow. Then cover the port with a rag and press the Schrader valve down to relieve the fuel pressure. Reinstall the cap once the pressure is relieved. Working at the left side of the engine, use a 17 mm line wrench and remove the fuel line at the fuel rail. Once removed, cover the line in the fitting on the fuel rail with a rag to collect excess fuel. Remove the 9E10 valve cover fasteners as indicated by the red arrows. I like to use a 6 inch extension with a universal swivel to remove the fasteners. Once all the fasteners are removed, remove the engine oil tube away from the corner of the valve cover. Lift the valve cover off of the cylinder head. It should not be stuck to the cylinder head. If it is stuck, check first that you didn't miss a fastener. If it's really stuck, you can gently lever it off away, being careful not to mar either the valve cover surface or the head surface. Remove the valve cover with the gasket from the cylinder head. Once the valve cover has been removed, pull the valve cover gasket out of the valve cover. Then thoroughly clean the valve cover sealing groove. Use a plastic gasket scraper so as not to damage the valve cover. Install a new valve cover gasket into the groove in the valve cover. Then apply a small amount of RTV to the seams at the camshaft cutouts at each side of the cylinder head. Uh, front shown by the red arrows, the rear is similar. Place the valve cover on the cylinder head and install all the fasteners finger tight. Then tighten the fasteners in a crisscross pattern. Reinstall the ignition coils and install and route the wiring harness as previously installed. Start and idle the engine. Inspect the valve cover and the surrounding area for oil leaks. Once complete, reinstall the engine covers. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.